hello friends so today's video is going to be on the tiger so what we are going to do with the tiger is we are going to change the uh, front fork outer tubes the oil seals and then fill brand new fork oil and then also change this handle and this is the new handle it is also a wide handle uh, looks little similar to uh, the rd350 handle i don't know how similar it is i have to just check that probably we'll do that later then we have to put these fork tubes which are painted onto this bike and that is going to be today's video so let's first move this bike over there and then start taking it apart So like you see the entire front end is off so we have taken the forks off we'll change the handle once the forks are fitted back because otherwise it won't align properly so we have pretty terrible news with the stock forks as you can see one has the screw mounting for the mudguard broken plus it's in a very sorry state the oil seals are busted that's why you see this much oil and plus i can see a lot of wetness here as well same goes with this one if you can see there is wetness here also you know the problem with these is your hands get very dirty and then catching the camera is a big problem but you know i do it for you guys so yeah so what we are going to save from these tubes um, these two forks is we'll save the entire interior plus the inner tubes there is a slight problem with this one this looks slightly bent i don't know but i'll have to take it apart once i take it apart then we can roll it on the floor and see if it is bent okay so this is the condition of our outer tubes they are all ready to take these internals and plus i have all the other things to um, assemble it back the only problem is uh, these dust boots are not available anymore and these are not cracked or anything so we can reuse them you get Hironda Splendor boots but those are not very easily available so we'll reuse it there is no problem in that so yeah let's now go ahead and take apart the forks
the biggest problem is we plan something and then the bike has a different plan so that happened i took apart the forks and when i was installing the forks back i noticed noticed something very strange this is one of the fork in the tubes and as you can see it is bent okay that's why it is going little funny it's not rolling properly it's kind of you know stopping and rolling stopping and rolling so it is actually very well bent and nothing can be done about it so i used one of the old inner tubes that i had only problem is there is a bit of pitting here which is okay considering what we had and that kind of took a lot of time because first of all you know i had to take that apart then take another inner tube apart and then install it in so not an easy uh, job but at the same time this got delayed so basically i'll tell you what we are going to do on this or how easy it is to do this so there are two screws here so with that this will come out a 10 bolt will take the whole thing out here there are two screws you remove the screws you will see four bolts 12 mm each so you can take them and then this is two screws this is a 10 bolt so this will come out the only problem is this guy so if you want to take this guy you'll have to put a screw driver and keep on spinning it and you know heating it so that it is going to come out easily otherwise it is not going to come out easily but i have my own technique i'll put a spanner here and hit it and it will come out so because of that i didn't want to attempt it today it's already 12:30 uh so that is the problem okay and after that we'll work on the engine tomorrow we will change all the oil seals and then our plan will be to put the engine back where it belongs and after that friday or saturday we'll get the tank we'll finish the bike and then hopefully saturday if we are able to paint and everything sunday we will give the delivery of the bike so that is the plan sounds like a decent plan It sounds like achievable but it's always that man proposes and god disposes so that happens so we'll see so tomorrow there is a day and in that day we are going to finish a lot of work okay so thanks for watching like share and subscribe and also one small request i'm getting old working on this stool is really killing my back so i have taken two showers in between hot water showers so that some of the back pain gets reduced so i would request you to please subscribe like and share so that the google algorithm finds our video interesting and because of which we might get more views and more subscribers if that happens then i can easily afford a motorcycle lift and you know it is not going to be me buying a motorcycle lift it is obviously going to be me building one so that will be an interesting video to watch so do let me know if you can if you want to see that video happening and also please like share and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one bye bye